Today we're going to talk about a cool service called PikaPods. It's the open source app hosting platform you never knew you needed. First, you don't need any prior cloud experience. With just a few clicks, you can install and set up apps like Uptime Kuma, Nextcloud, WordPress, and Fresh RSS. The pricing is transparent and you won't get locked into any subscriptions. All right, so let's jump right in and let me show you what this is all about. To get started with PikaPods, the first thing you want to do is head over to PikaPods.com. Like anything else on the internet, the first thing you need to do is sign up for an account. You'd use this sign up link right up here in the top right corner. You supply your name, email, and password, agree to their terms of service, and they'll send you a confirmation email. Once you get that and link back to the site, you will notice that your account starts with a $5 balance. You can try this out absolutely free, no strings attached, and get to learning the interface. As you can see from my home screen here, I'm already a user of PikaPods. One of the great things about it is that if you go into your account page to billing, you don't even have to have a credit card on file. If you want to add funds, you can do it either by your credit card or with PayPal. And the great thing is that this is like a prepaid debit card. You load up funds and you don't have to worry about runaway costs unlike some other cloud services out there. Now we're going to set up a new pod. We're going to use Uptime Kuma as an example. You'll find it in monitoring and here we've got Uptime Kuma. Click the run your own link, supply a name, select your region, I'm in the US, and then move down to the next space on the left side. Nothing here has a label that makes it required, so we're just going to leave these at their defaults. In resources, again, we can stay at the defaults, and it shows you right down here in the corner that your monthly cost to run this is going to be $1 a month. Just click Add Pod. You'll find out this needs a minimum of 10 gigabytes of storage. So we make that change, click add pod, and we're off to the races. There we are. We can say open pod. Before we do that, you'll want to notice that it gives you the domain right here. It is a subdomain off from pikapod.net. Let's take a look. And here we've got uptime kuma. Another cool feature, especially on a service this inexpensive, is that they allow you to tie a PikaPod to your own domain. So you can have xyz.com pointed to your service running on PikaPods. While we used Uptime Kuma as an example, as you can see, there are quite a number of apps here that you can choose from. One that I'd like to take a look at is Dashi. It provides a dashboard for linking to all of the different websites you would like to visit. Fresh RSS is another good example. I already use that to prep for midweek news. And of course, Nextcloud, which is a great alternative to Google Drive and related apps. So, had you heard of PikaPods before this video? Let me know in the comments. Take a moment to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.